Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating this look that you see right here on my face. It is a recreation um, with, a, with a few tweaks. I saw this cool makeup on Instagram inspired by this look here by Spooky Kid. Love her rendition. So cute. I instantly knew I wanted to do something like this, but I wanted to make it neutral up top. Uh, so that's kind of what I did. I just wanted to do something kind of like spooky and like Halloween-y, but like nothing too crazy because I need to go do errands and I was thinking of maybe filming something else after this. So wanted to get in the vibe but I didn't want it to be too crazy. So this is what we're doing. Um, there there will be more Halloween content coming. Uh, I'm super swamped right now this time of year, swamped and, and just overwhelmed. And yeah, I feel like I never, I didn't prepare. I have a lot of like pre-filmed stuff, but like it's not Halloween. So I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do, but you know, I'm not a good planner, so I don't have like a ton of Halloween content prepared, but here's this tutorial <laughs> and I've got my cute backdrop up and a few other things that I'll be doing, but I, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video and without further ado, let's fucking get into it. All right guys, we are, we're zoomed in and um, since this is pretty much just an eye tutorial, I have everything but my eyes done. I'm wearing this uh, hat because my hair is very greasy very disgusting i probably didn't need to tell you that but i did so anyway all i did because i forgot to turn my camera on i grabbed this shadow right here by devina cosmetics it is the shade ethereal ethereal right there popping that up here in my crease kind of just to create some depth because i have slightly hooded eyes and this helps a lot for me so that's gonna go up there. It's a little cool toned though, cause it is like a taupey gray. Kinda want something a little bit more warm but not too warm, you know what I'm saying? You know when you have a color in mind but you can't really pinpoint it? That's why having like a big, um, like a gradient, like gradient type palettes like this always helps so much because I feel like you could find the color that you need anyway. Uh, we're just kind of bopping in this shade and that shade, I think. Is that what I did? These two. Darkening up the crease a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And then let's grab that fluffy brush that we're using before and really make sure that the edge is blended out. I want it to kind of look like we don't really have eyeshadow on the lid, you know what I'm saying? Even though we obviously do. Okie dokie, next step is to do our winged eyeliner. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Tip Eye Pen, which is my eyeliner of choice. I always uh, just start in the inner corner and just draw the line right across the lid. For the tail, start at the outer corner and just draw out as far as you like it to go. Maybe stopping a little bit early because it's always easier to add more, but you can't. It's harder to take away. And then just go in from the point a little bit and draw a straight line over and connect it. And then you can finally breathe because you've probably been holding your breath. Okay, now in the in the reference picture, she also has uh, 
a little kind of triangle on the like extending from the inner corner so i'm gonna do that right now as well actually you know what i'm gonna move on to a different eyeliner this hank and henry slick with it it's kind of similar to uh the urban decay one only the point is much more fine let me show you see the difference there so we're gonna use the hank and henry one just for precision and first we're just gonna connect from the eyeliner that we've already got going on make sure you don't have any crusties most difficult thing I've ever done now I might make that a little bit longer I'm not sure but next we're going to kind of just draw the little bat shape it's kind of hard to uh, draw the bat wings with aging under eyes but I found that it is easiest to hold the pen downward and draw from the tip that you're trying to make and then go upwards And then we're just going to use the eyeliner to fill it in. Next, I'm going to take a gel liner. This one's by ColourPop. And I'm going to use that to tight line my waterline and also smudge it down to fill in the gaps in between my lashes. Alright, let's curl these lashes. Guess we really don't even need lower lash mascara, huh? Okay, and some, sometimes when I do my lashes, um, it, it messes up the liner up top, so I'm just going to fix that really quick. Bada bing, good as new. I didn't do blush, so let me do that really quick. Alright, and here is the finished bat eyeliner look. And I popped a lip on. This is Brucey by Sophia Nygaard in ColourPop. I swatched her lipstick collection, and if it's up, I'll link it below. If not, then subscribe so you don't miss it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this look. I don't it's not perfect, but I had fun creating it and it's it's cute, wearable, like spooky Halloween kind of vibe for if you don't have a ton of time or maybe you're like going to do errands or going out somewhere or like a party but it's not too crazy of a party you know i think you could you could wear this and and pair it with like a little you know witchy ensemble and, and look pretty cute so uh i'm stoked with it let me know what you guys think down in the comments below thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye